Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I am Millicent Mwaka. Coming up on the program, notorious criminal escapes from court in Emo State. Information Minister speaks about healing the wounds in the Northeast. And the Nigerian Air Force receives helicopters seized by the Nigerian Customs Service. We begin with the suspected kidnapper Henry Chibweze, who is currently on the run after escaping from the premises of an Imo State High Court in Oweri, the state capital, this morning. According to the spokesman of the Nigerian prisons, the suspect managed to escape following a heavy shootout between a group of unknown gunmen and security operatives when the suspected criminal was being conveyed to court. Eyewitness accounts says the unknown gunmen, numbering over six, found their way into the court premises shortly after about 50 inmates were conveyed to court for hearing of their various suits. Now, they said the gunmen, the gunmen rather, opened fire on the security operatives and inmates at the court premises, shooting sporadically into the air for over 10 minutes, leaving several people wounded. No, I wasn't. We were in the office this morning when uh, we got an alert that we had there was a little problem here in the court. We found some of our men that uh, took the inmates to court this morning. About uh, 50 something inmates came to court this morning. So they came and uh, we were told that some people armed were already in the court. But our people thought that they were SSS people, you know. So after distributing these people to go to their various courts, they started, they opened fire on our men and even some inmates. So as at now, the picture looks sketchy, but I know that uh, about five people were wounded, which we are short of for now, and uh, the controller has directed that they be taken to hospital. Yeah, I think uh, he is the main person why they had to strike by this particular hour of the day. Who? Tell us the name. Uh, they call him Vampire, but I don't know his real name, but, but um, for now he's at large. So we don't know if there are other people that escaped with him. So at the end of the day, we must have put our records in order we'll be able to know if there are some. And I still know that there are some people at the state headquarters of the police that were taken there for, you know, for refuge, which will equally take them to the prison office. And we'll continue to keep an eye on that story. Until we heal the wounds of the Northeast, we will not be healing the wounds of Nigeria. Words of the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, during a visit by members of the Presidential Committee on the Northeast Initiative in Abuja. The committee, charged with the responsibility of coordinating efforts to restore stability and socio-economic activities in the Northeast, says it has, it has harmonized all intervention plannings for the region into a national strategic roadmap for redevelopment known as the Buhari Plan. Our correspondent Gloria Mizurke has more. After boasting of successfully decimating Boko Haram insurgency by December 2016, it appears the federal government is taking extra steps to consolidate greater socioeconomic development in the region. During a visit to the Minister of Information in Abuja, members of the Presidential Committee on the Northeast Initiative disclosed the Buhari Plan. Comprehensive interventions to be provided through the Buhari Plan framework include short-term food security and social stabilization, through immediate humanitarian action, early recovery through agricultural livelihoods and productive, productive works, and medium-term rehabilitation of the region through reconstruction and economic clustering for resettlements of the severely affected Population. The minister, however, underscored that the Boko Haram crisis should not be perceived as a northeast challenge alone, but that of the entire nation. We must change this narrative, and we must also provide basic infrastructure. We must ensure that our youth they have something to look up to. But because until we heal the wound in the northeast. You will not be healing and get us good. If you see something, say something. Because we believe that until Nigerians take possession of the war, then 
full rehabilitation, full reconstruction, and full resettlement of market place. The minister advised the committee that the skill of strategy should not be underestimated, but work on the plan should be reinforced to abate the growing disaster in the region. Gloria Umezuke, Channel Television News. Meanwhile, the Presidential Committee on North East Initiative, PCNI, is to establish offices that will monitor the activities of non-governmental organizations, NGOs. The aim is to coordinate civil society organizations, community-based organizations, community leaders and others on the rebuilding process of communities ravaged by the insurgency. Various organizations were called to the briefing in Damaturu, Yobe State, on how the process will be coordinated. This meeting is jointly organized by the Center for Information Technology and the Center for Political Research, Education and Development in Damaturu, the Yube State capital. In attendance are members of the Presidential Committee on the Northeast Initiative and non-governmental organizations amongst others. The vice chairman of the PCNI, Tijani Tumsa, told the gathering that the committee has been mandated to monitor NGOs involved in the Northeast rebuilding process for better coordination. This is the Emergency Humanitarian Assistance and Social Stabilization, Rehabilitation, Relocation and Resettlement, Peace Building, Security, Infrastructure Development, Agricultural revitalization, environment, health sector reforms, educational transformation, good governance, regional planning and strategic growth management, entrepreneurship and job creation for youth and women. The Executive Director, Center for Political Research, Education and Development, Abu Bakr Abba, says the meeting was called to educate various non-governmental organizations on how to take advantage of the latest development. To educate and train uh, the representatives of the various CSOs in Northeastern Nigeria on how to make best use of this particular platform in order to, co to bring about the successful implementation of the Bahari plan. Organizers believe the convergence of NGOs in one place will help them get a better understanding of the set objectives. To see how uh, they can uh, channel the contribution of these own communities uh, in terms of uh, uh, their own specific problems, what they want to see addressed in their own communities, and how uh, this can be uh, done. While voluntary work to rebuild communities affected by the Northeast insurgency is laudable. The forum seeks to eliminate the inefficiencies that may arise from too many groups trying to do the same thing. And two Bell helicopters recently seized by the Nigerian Customs Service has been handed over to Nigerian Air Force in Lagos. Speaking after the handing over ceremony, the Deputy Controller General of Customs, Dan Ugo, alleged that the importers of the helicopters failed to comply with the necessary import requirement. On his part, the representative of the Air Force, Air Commander Hysynth Eze, explained that the aircraft will assist in the drive to end all forms of insurgency in the northeastern part of Nigeria. These helicopters were imported through the airport here, Sumutila Mohammed International Airport. Um, due to the vigilance of the officers and their controller here, it was observed when the requisite documents were asked for. Incidentally, they breached our law because this kind of equipment should come in with things like end user certificate and some other things. And the law provides that if you import in breach of the law, make a seizure of the items. And like I said, after season, it's not enough. We must go the whole hog. The process is that we go and appear before the court of, um, of law, file for condemnation, and the court properly condemned it and forbidden it to the federal government. Of With this aircraft being added to our fleet, it is certainly going to help us uh, you know, to enhance our discharge of our, our responsibilities. Nigerian Air Force is in the forefront of uh, winning all forms of insurgency and militancy that are targeted against the survival 
and economic development of this nation. And uh, I'm sure that all of us are aware that uh, the war against terrorism is being won largely because of the important role that is being played by the Nigerian Air Force. So the addition of these helicopters will greatly enhance our capability. And when news across Nigeria returns, Adamawa State reopens NYC camp after a very long time. Join us again.